Hi everyone. I'm here putting out another opinion video. This time taking off the glass. <sighs> There's a time to wear the glasses and a time to not wear the glasses. Um, this is something that has concerned me for some time. Um, it's when someone is complimented on their appearance. It could be a woman telling a man he looks good. Man telling a woman she looks good. Woman telling a woman she's pretty. Man telling a man he's handsome. Whatever. I see absolutely totally zero percent anything wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with telling someone you think they actually look something good, whether it's pretty or cute or fine. I always uh, justify it by saying I was just being totally honest. Now, people will tell you this uh, flattery is a sin against God and all that other kind of bullshit. Well, I basically told this God to take a hike quite some time ago, so this this whole bringing God into this doesn't mean anything to me. In fact, um, if you're pretty or beautiful, and I think so, it may take a while, but there's coming a time when I am going to tell you eventually. And you're going to have to deal with it. you got to know how to deal with compliments. If, if you're going if you're, if you're going to be someone who can handle the truth, who knows how to deal with honesty, you've got to be able to take it when someone says that you actually look good. Now, it's, it's easy for you to um, toughen yourself against someone who says something negative about your appearance, says... Uh, ugly, unattractive. I think this is what's wrong. This is what is wrong. Um, and even if someone is not that great looking, um, I don't think we should be focusing on this. Now, what makes a person not good looking to me is a hateful tube. If you are if you engage in a hateful attitude it tends to destroy any good looks you might have otherwise had and blast it. It's like putting a dividing line to, between any kind of beauty you had the potential to have and my eyes. And I can't see it for all that hatred. And not every Republican is hateful. But it does tend to be a common thread that usually if someone is a Republican, usually someone is hateful. <clears throat> well, we've seen it in um, Wolf Blitzer's question, you really think we should just let this guy die? Referring to an uninsured person, a 
get sick all of a sudden? I honestly don't get it. How can anyone be hate? But if you're not, and I can sense it, and usually I can, if someone is not hateful, and I can tell, then uh, that person is going to be the target of a compliment. Whatever form, I've I've told, oh, I have totally lost count of all the women I've met, beautiful, good-looking, pretty, gorgeous, lost count, as I've told so many. It's not because. I have totally given away these compliments for nothing, for free. It's just this is how I see them. And you don't necessarily have to be a liberal woman to be called beautiful by me, although like the conservative and hatefulness, it it tends to have a common thread with politeness, gentleness, and a loving attitude. Usually, liberals are kind. Although, I'm sorry to say it, but some liberals are hateful. And I'm going to tell you this. If you're a good person, and I have discovered this, and I will eventually call you beautiful or pretty or whatever, eventually. If I haven't gotten to you yet, the compliment probably is on the way, and I'm not going to apologize for it. If I tell you that you're pretty or you're beautiful and you freak out, I'm not going to say I'm sorry, because I'm just saying what I really think. There's nothing wrong with that. Eight minutes and a half. I think this is a good uh, point which to um, stop the video. Thanks for watching. Until hopefully I can start on those uh, scripts again.